Hi there, my name is Austin, and one reason to use LabVIEW is to control all your instruments in one place, regardless of vendor. Whether you want to programmatically trigger your waveform generator, or acquire data from your oscilloscope and save it to your PC, LabVIEW can help you do it. With over 30 years of experience, and I as the industry leader in instrument control, offering the most complete solution. The easiest way to control your instruments is to use a plug-and-play instrument driver, which includes all the functions needed to get up and running, um, and these drivers also come with examples to help you get started. So if you're interested in doing this, the first place to go is the Instrument Driver Network, which I have up now, uh, IDNet for short. Uh, IDNet is a great place to find uh, your instrument driver. We have over 7,000 instrument drivers for different instruments, oscilloscopes, uh, from the major brands, Keyfly, Agilent, Keysight. Um, so you would come here, you could search for your instrument driver, um, or if you want, you can use any of these guides to help you get started. So we have guides for getting started with the instrument driver, building your own instrument driver if it doesn't exist. Um, but another way to do this, if you don't want to use the instrument driver network and you already have LabVIEW installed, uh, is if you go from LabVIEW to help, you can go to find instrument driver, which will actually detect your connected instrument and it will um, just install the correct instrument driver for you. So that's actually what I've already done uh, for this box oscilloscope. And here you can see the actual output, um, where it shows all the examples that come with this instrument driver. I can open a project with all those examples. Uh, and then I can also open a palette, which shows all of the different uh, functions that I can use. So you can see that I have some functions to initialize, to close the connection, um, tons of uh, functions for configuring. Uh, basically, what we've done is we've gone in and wrapped all the Skippy commands that you need to send to this to control this instrument, um, so that rather than having to go into the manual and see exactly what you need to send, uh, you can just drag and drop one of these uh, commands, and it does it for you. So let's go ahead and open one of these examples. Um, so now that I've opened this example, I'm just going to point it to my oscilloscope, and I'm going to click Run. And then it's going to start reading from this oscilloscope. And since I don't actually have it connected to anything, uh, we're seeing very close to zero, which is what we'd expect. So I'm going to go ahead and click Stop here. If we look at the block diagram, you can see it's very simple structure. And this is the same structure that we have uh, in most all of our examples, and then just kind of generally across LabVIEW, um, where you'll initialize and configure at the start. Uh, you'll do something in the while loop. And then at the end, you'll go ahead and, and close out that connection. So um, one, another great thing about using LabVIEW is that uh, you can control your instrument. And now you have this oscilloscope data um, in LabVIEW. And now you can start doing things with that data. So let me show you an example of what you can do with this oscilloscope data now that you have it in LabVIEW. I can right click here. I'm going to go down to the Express VIs. I'm going to pin this. I'm using Express VI just because they're very simple, so it's a good thing for this type of uh, demonstration. Um, I'm going to put down a spectral measurement filter. I can just pick what, what I want to do, so magnitude RMS, uh, magnitude peak, power spectrum, all that stuff. Not necessarily relevant here, but just uh, want to demonstrate what you can actually do. I can click OK. I would just route in my signal. And then it's going to be able to output um, FFT, phase, anything like that that you'd want to read in. Another thing that you might want to do is actually uh, save this data to disk on, on your particular um, laptop or PC. So I can go back to that Express palette. I can go back to that Express palette. And we also have a um, VI for measurement, um, right to measurement file. So when I put this down, it's going to allow me to set up my file format, whether I want in text, binary, TDMS, things like that. I can point it to a particular location, everything. Um, and then when I click OK, I can just write, I can just route in my signal. And now not only am I going to be analyzing that signal coming from my oscilloscope, but I'm also going to be uh, writing it to disk. So I can actually save it to the disk and, and then do more with it later. So overall, stop wasting your time taking repetitive manual measurements and use LabVIEW to automate the process so you can do more with your time and your data. Thanks.